Liam Hemsworth is more than just really ridiculously good looking. He's more than just an actor. He's also a good person. And people are hoping that, just as he seemed to be a moderating influence on Miley, maybe Liam's goodness can rub off on others. Particularly, on all of Australia. Australia is voting on marriage equality, and Liam Hemsworth is speaking out in favour of LGBT rights. The global fight for LGBT rights didn't end when marriage equality became the law of the land in the US. In fact, it didn't even end in the US, in plenty of states, you can still be fired for being gay. And then there are trans rights, and LGBT homeless youth, and, there's a lot, folks. Inequality runs deep. Australia, Earth's Florida, still doesn't have marriage equality in place, even though the US, Canada, and the UK do. That sets them up to be the last major English-speaking nation where same-sex couples can have a legally recognised marriage. But they're holding a vote on it. Before their legislature votes, they're going to hear from Australians themselves, in a move called a plebiscite. Just over a week ago, voters in Australia received envelopes with which to cast their votes, and they have until the 7th of November to return their ballots. Note that all adults in Australia are automatically registered to vote and that, normally, voting in elections is mandatory, while here in the US, as many as half of the country regularly declines to vote for reasons that I honestly cannot fathom. While the yes voters appear to have the majority in polls, there are worries that people who are opposed to marriage equality might simply be shy about their bigotry. Others fear that those who support marriage equality will assume that it's a done deal and will decline to actually send in their yes votes. Every celebrity voice, like that of internationally renowned actor and Australian native Liam Hemsworth, that speaks up for the yes voters can make a difference. Liam took to Instagram to share his support for the yes vote and his support for marriage equality in Australia. The way that he starts his letter may surprise you, however. I personally do not believe that same-sex marriage should come down to a vote. That almost sounds like he's unhappy that this is on the table, but we'll get to that in a moment. I believe it's a human right to be able to marry the person you love regardless of gender. Yes, good. To all the Australians that care about equality and human rights please say yes to same-sex marriage. Good to implore people to vote. And, when the vote is yes or no. You want to repeat the right answer as much as possible. Which he does. Let's not be silly about this. Vote yes for same-sex marriage in Australia. The reason that Liam Hemsworth is among those who doesn't believe that marriage equality should be up for a vote is because it's a human right. When human rights are put up for a vote, it gives the majority an opportunity to deny basic rights to the minority. That is one of the reasons that the US Constitution has a Bill of Rights. He doesn't spell it out, but it's a commonly held belief that's been repeated in various countries whenever this has come up, that putting human rights up for a vote is in and of itself a human rights violation, even people vote justly. We should remember that this vote is in some ways personal for Liam. His fantasy, Miley Cyrus, is pansexual. That makes her part of the LGBT community. Same-sex marriage might be moot for her if the two of them ever decide to finally, finally get married. But her human rights being recognized just like everyone else's by his home country's government, that has to be a priority. Hopefully, Australia won't be the site of another Brexit, or another Trump. Perhaps both of those incidents will show the Australian people the dangers of apathy and not voting. Marriage equality is inevitable, sure, but if the Australian government takes years or decades longer to officially recognise same-sex marriages, millions and millions of Australians will be negatively impacted during that time. Australians have more than a month remaining to vote yes, so we hope that they listen to voices like Liam's.